Okay, this is uh, still in production of the Rust-Oleum roll-on paint job. And I'll try to put some pictures before this. Hopefully they'll be in the video. And anyway, it's not done. It needs a, a lot of wet sanding. I wasn't really trying to get it perfect. It's a 4x4. Four four. But I'm going to do a little browse around and let you see how it turns out. I found this video information on YouTube and decided to do it myself. So here we go. And the camera does it justice. <laughs> now that was just straight, you know, basically just uh, cleaning the metal off with some alcohol and paper towels and thinning the paint so it wouldn't dry so much on me and show so many imperfections. Even though when I was painting, I had a few flies land on it and I had to, or some debris and work those out picked them off and re-wet my roller and rolled it back on so you can see a little haze in it see a lot of orange peel yeah, if you get up on it closely let's we'll see if we can do a reflection of my hand oh the reflection of my hand turns out pretty nice yeah but you can tell it ain't a perfect job but you know considering I mean, when you spend $26 for a professional gallon and I don't even think I've used a quart yet of that paint so that's it we'll roll to the back got me some 4 by 4 decals they're just vinyl letters got some lady to cut and send me little rusty bed liner and the bed's not in bad shape Got my racing stripes now right here there was a big dent and I just I worked it out the best I could I didn't really want to spend a lot of time on it you know the trucks a high mileage truck but I think it's not too bad got my 4 by 4 sticker there it's 88 Silverado 4 by 4 1500 and Did the doors down throughout here. Now I got a little bit on the, I should have taped this off the first time, but I didn't. But the chrome's not in the best of shape, so I wasn't too worried about that. Thinking about even re replacing it. Now you can see where it used to be blue. I haven't painted that strip down throughout there. It attaches to the chrome front bumper. And I still got to do the grill. You can see right there. And I didn't take the time to go inside some of these little things like you can see right there. A little bit of blue. And if you get up closer you can see where I didn't roll down in here or even lift the hood to spray that. I'll probably come back through when I wet sand it and do some touch up. But I mean at night it's a pretty nice shine. Looks pretty good. And I, this is one thing I never really found out on the painting the trucks is uh painting between the bed and that is a trick and I just basically rolled it in as far as I could and left the rest blue luckily it was a dark color from you know walking up on it unless you look back there you won't really see it so that's my rust oleum paint job now I might do an updated video so you can look for it but it's probably gonna be a little while because I want this to fully harden and cure you do not want to put in a second coat on until it's fully hardened and cured because when it shrinks underneath it will crack the top layer pretty much guaranteed just use the regular old foam roller brush or a foam roller and a, one of them foam brushes and I got one of those let's see if I can dig one out real quick then my van's locked well, I'll see if you can see it in here that's basically what I use right there. One of the little dollar ninety-one trays and a foam roller I bought at Home Depot to use to roll it out. And the main thing is you don't want it to roll real sticky. You want it to roll and you don't want to hear a lot of the noise from the paint, like sounding like tape being removed when you're rolling it. And if you do, you're gonna you're dealing with too tacky a paint and you'll it being so thick will cause it to leave a lot of lines in it from your roller if it's rolling out and you don't hear that sound from tape being removed uh, you're doing pretty good as long as of course you're not allowing it to run so check for updates and uh, appreciate it youtubers